Uh, welcome to Famous Face Off. This is the segment where we take two famous rivals and give them a special chance to settle their differences once and for all. Now, one of the world's most tongue twisting professions is news reading. In any one broadcast, you range from Médecins Sans Frontières to Cecilio Bambang Yudayono to Junichiro Koizumi. So tonight, I'll probably get a job as one myself. Well, tonight, we're delighted to present two of our nation's finest news readers. Of course, they come from rival networks. Please welcome, from Sky News, Jacinta Tynan and ABC veteran Richard Moorcroft. <laughs> yes. All right. How are you feeling, guys, about tonight? Are you feeling good? Feeling good? Excellent. All right. Primed up. Well, this is your challenge. We've got some breaking news that's just come in, all right? And we don't want any stammering. We don't want stuff-ups. Um, because for every line that you fluff, I'm going to press this buzzer like this. <laughs> and it's going to go like that. All right, guys. We'll start with you, Richard, at your desks. Lights, camera, bulletin. The Australian Medical Association has created an urgent schools program to educate students about the more, more obscure aspects of health. The AMA claims young people don't know enough about polyadenylation, <laughs> acetyl cholinesterase, adenohypophysis, cholecystokinin, eosinophils, erythropoiesis, hyaluronidases. <laughs> this is very much like a bulletin in 1988 I once read. <laughs> glomerular epithaloids, and can't even tell the difference between a glycocalyx and glycosaminoglycan. <laughs> Meanwhile, a wicked cricket critic's dozen, dozen double damask dinner napkins have made the sixth sick sheik's sixth sheep sick. Luftwaffe. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Richard Moorcroft. An extraordinary performance with a mere 11 mistakes. Congratulations. Oh, no. All right. Now I think we're just going to see how Jacinta Tynan performs. <laughs> All right, Jacinta, are you ready? No. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Lights, camera, headlines. Co-kitchenists hot blocking me today as professional renovators debate the ideal colour scheme for a new high-rise development. While some argue for castachinous or chlorous colours, others prefer cramoisy, purpureal, hyacinth, that's right, hyacinth. <laughs> Take that one back. Lutinos melicris ochroleicus semisanguinous smaragdine infuscate and zinnaba hues. And this evening heralds the inaugural French tongue twister festival. <laughs> Here we go. The frenetic Franco phrase featured include je suis ce que je suis et suis je suis. <laughs> I didn't do French. <laughs> ce que je suis. Ce ce que je suis. And the ever popular gros grand grand grain d'orge. Tout gros gras grand grain d'orgerie. Quand de de gras gras grand grain d'orgerie tout. Je me de gras grand grain je te grand tout le gras gras je te sale gras grain tout. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the center timing. What an extraordinary performance with a mere 17 mistakes. Well, look, it's there in the ratings, I'm afraid. Our famous face off has finally settled it. Ladies and gentlemen, the best newsreader in the world is Richard Moorcroft. <laughs> <laughs> 